Hello everybody. In this tutorial I try to explain some specific feature of Python. The first one is this one. Try to understand this with this tutorial. We are having two variables x initialized with 5 which is an integer, y initialized with 2 which is again an integer and we try to divide x with y. Now according to our expectation the result should be 2.5 but the practical fact is that they are not. It's going to give us 2. Now why this happens? Because in every programming language, there are certain principles with which the operations takes place. Now, if you are operating two integers, the results are going to be in integer again. Since we are operating x with y and both of them are integer here, that's why obviously we are going to get result as integer. The fact is that if you are operating integer, operation integer, the result that is it is going to give is always in integer now if you are operating two operands one with a higher precedence than the other then the result is always going to be in the higher precedence operand that means if you are operating integer with float integer any operation any operation that means plus minus multiplication division with float then the result is going to be in float now if you are operating integer with long, the result is going to be, sorry, in long. Now if you are operating long with long, obviously the result is going to be in long. So here we are operating x with y and since both are integer, so the z is going to be integer. Since the operation is taking place first, then the result is assigned to z. So the division operation result is integer here, it is truncating the value to 2. Now if you want to have accuracy with your operations then what you should do we should we should we should just we should just do it in this way if we want to if we want to have the accuracy in our operations then what we can do we can just convert so in order to have accuracy we can just convert either of the operand to the higher precedence variable higher precedence type in order to Mm, get the accuracy here we can see that uh, if we can convert if we convert the mm, value of x to float we are getting it in um, the exact uh, accuracy now here it is converted to this type float x is converted to float y is as it is in integer and so now in this case what we are getting we are getting here 2.5 instead of 2 so we can do in this way now if you need accuracy you need to be precise now if you are doing it with the uh, constants then instead of doing this in this way what you can do if the constants are there suppose that something is here we, we want to divide k we want to divide 5 with 2 with the constant integer literals something like this now in this case again the result of this division is going to be 2 instead of 2.5 now if it is constant can be a little more easier without using the float function what you can do you can just write 5.0 instead of 5 now if you are writing 5.0 the python interpreter is going to take this as floating point value now 5.0 is float and 2 is integer so the result is going to be in integer sorry i'm sorry the result is going to be in float that means it's going to be 2.5 instead of 2 so if i print here print k is going to be 2.5 again as you can see it here and that's the first feature that I intend to demonstrate the second one is that just delete this now if you declare a variable something like, I'm sorry if you declare a variable something like this and if you need to declare more than one variables x is equal to 3 say y is equal to 6 and then z is equal to 7 now you can do this in a single line instead of declaring these three variables in three different statements what you can do you can do it in a single line something like this it's amazing we can do it in a single line something like this x comma y comma z is equal to one comma six comma seven so now try a print print x then i'm trying to print y and then i'm trying to print z what is happening here oh, 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 oh. here we have made a mistake instead of comma i put a dot so it's one six seven what is happening here one is assigned to the variable x here 
Now the second value 6 is assigned to the variable y. Now the third value 7 is assigned here in z. So in this way we can just make it a little bit smarter. Uh, declaring variables can be a little bit smarter with, the, with, with, with this kind of things. Now the third feature that I want to show you is that if you declare a variable then the variable remains there and if you don't need a variable you can deallocate the variable with the delete statement that I am going to show you with this suppose that we have a variable x with 10 and we are utilizing this variable in our program and after that we don't require this variable so what I am doing I am deleting x with the del statement so del is a uh, keyword something like that in Python that is going to deallocate the allocation of x now if you try to access x afterwards print x then what will happen it is going to generate error obviously because the name x does not uh, available is not available after this point after deleting this x with the del statement now let us try to understand let us try to execute this now you can see that it's printing 10 first this print statement is printing 10 for x and after that we are deleting x here then we are trying to print x the name error is coming the name x is not defined that means the x is not available anymore so you can declare x after deleting x again so we can do it again say so i am declaring x again with a string literal and trying to trying a print so what will happen now it is going to print hello here now we have deleted x here again we have reallocated x with a new variable new variable value hello that's a string literal and we are printing x again that's all for now i will try some i will try to upload some more videos on this python topic uh, in coming days thank you very much bye